Now let's dive a little bit deeper into understanding what a data warehouse is. So we remember from the last lecture, the very simple definition, a data warehouse is basically a database that is used and optimized for analytical purposes. So some of the things that are very important in a data warehouse is that it's very user friendly, means it shouldn't be super technical and also all of the names. This should be all very easy to understand and optimized for the users or data analysts to retrieve this data and process and work with this data. And something that also relates to that is that we need in this database a very fast query performance so that we can pull a lot of data and process this data very quickly. And also we want to in general just make this database as good as possible and optimize things to enable best and easy data analysis. And if we want to understand a data warehouse, we need to understand that as we've mentioned, we have the two different systems. So we have the operational data systems. So these can be different data sources like sales data, our HR system, our CRM system, and all of these data systems have different formats. The data is in a different structure. And what we need to do is we need to bring all all of that relevant data together and store it in a centralized location. And this is the process of the data warehousing and also this process is called ETL process. This is the most important process and where let's say 80 or 90% of our time goes in if we are creating a data warehouse. So this ETL process stands for extract, transform and load. So basically we extract the data from these different sources so that we don't use their query performance and the resources and slow these systems down. We want to then transform the data, means that we want to integrate all of these different sources so that they are all in the same structure, that we can work with them, maybe the data is aggregated. And then of course, in the last step, we want to load the data into our centralized location for data, which is our data warehouse that is now optimized for this purpose of data analysis. And this ETL process, we will also dive a lot deeper into the later lectures, how we can really build a data warehouse, how we can create this ETL process and model all of our data. But now let's just quickly summarize what the goal of our data warehouse is. So we've said that this is a centralized location where the data from different data sources is available in a consistent manner. This data must be very fast accessible. So we want to make a query and we want to retrieve the results very quickly. Also, so that we can analyze the data, it needs to be user friendly. That means we need to make it and model it in a way that it's very easy to understand and everyone can easily work with it. Then also we have seen that we need the copying process and also transform this data and this needs to be done consistently and repeatedly. And this process we've called ETL process. So this is what a data warehouse is. And then in the end, this is also one of the main goals. We want to build some reporting or some data visualizations on top of our data warehouse. This is why we build our data warehouse.